Um, and then and then we have Monarch and Conqueror, um, which have been released into test with the same name in the game. And I assume that this you'll notice it's, it's test ship. You'll I assume this is so that people in the game don't focus it because when you see a or when a lot of players see a test ship something new they haven't seen before they tend to focus it um, partly out of curiosity and partly because they're just dicks and so what would happen if they did that was they wouldn't get the right stats and so I think what they're doing is they've just named them exactly the same so that the change which is to the citadel and there's also a change to the way the heal works but basically this is the this is the important change, which is that they've added this uh, sombrero to the top of the citadel on both ships. Same thing. So you've got this, this sombrero here, um, so that people don't know it's there. Basically, um, otherwise people would be aiming for you. Uh, <laughs> looks like she's scanning the sky for extraterrestrial intelligence. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, goose! Oh, that, oof, that, that's that's scathing. Oof. Catching treats is much easier. Yeah, it's it's both hilarious and painful to watch her trying to pick things up off the floor because she can't quite reach, and she tends to knock things over. She knocked a pile of books over yesterday. That was that made a noise. But the thing is, knocking the pile of books over made her kind of like spook, which made it even worse then because she kind of ran off and knocked a load of other stuff over. Um. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the, there is that five minutes of fame thing as well, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, they've both got this extra bit on the Citadel. Now, I don't have Monarch as a researchable ship, but let me just bring up Conqueror and uh, test Conqueror side by side so you can just see. Well, I'm, I'm sure you know already, but see this. So, I've also got Rental Conqueror. <laughs> three conquerors. So that's normal conqueror and it's normal citadel, which is at the waterline, maybe even slightly below the waterline, which, as we all know, is makes it extremely difficult to citadel a conqueror. Um, and so to get a little bit of balance, basically, they're going to, or they're looking at raising the citadel slightly. So what they've done, by the looks of it, is the main citadel is still in approximately the same place, maybe exactly the same place. Uh, and they've just added this sombrero to the top. So I assume that the roof of this section underneath is still the same as it was. So I assume underneath that all there's a 63 and 19 roofed citadel. But they've stuck this bit on top of it, which is pretty heavily armoured around the outside and actually goes all the way to the edge of the ship. So that is actually the armour belt of the ship. If I put the uh, that back on, it's just it is the outside. Um, but then you have this extra 12mm roof, which may have implications for um, dive bombers, particularly AP bombers. So you can play in your own three Conqueror <laughs> Division. Is that like this, like one man bands that have all the, like, the cymbals and the drums and stuff, and they stamp their feet up and down? Monarch? I don't know. Does Monarch need nerfing? I, I, obviously, it does because they're looking at the statistics and they think it needs nerfing, otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Um, I guess. I think Conqueror probably does, maybe? Um, but I've, I've played her, and I'm terrible at the Conqueror. I, I, honestly, go and look up my stats. I'm terrible at the Conqueror. Um, but knowing that she can be citadeled has made me play her a lot, lot better. Because now I'm not making stupid mistakes, thinking, oh, it's all right, I can make this turn, because I won't get citadeled. I'm actually thinking properly about angling and whatever. And um, so for me, it's actually made me play her better. But um, yeah, if you know that she's got this, then you're going to be able to punish her a little, better, bit, a little bit better. Um, they've also changed the way the heal works. So as I understand it, Killo, I'm sure, will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they've reduced the amount of heal for citadel damage. And they've increased the amount of heal for um, casemate. So the, the casemate is this bit. So the, the hat of the, the, the top of the sombrero. Um, so if you take any damage to that section there, you can heal more of that than you could before, but you can heal less of the citadel damage. 
um, which basically, as long as you angle and you're only taking pens and not, not citadels, then that means you get more heal. But if you make a mistake and you get citadeled, then you can't heal as much of that. So it kind of it, it will reward better play. I think is um, a good way of putting it. 